So the Blonde Boss, one of the new uh, DLC weapons that have just come out for King of Lord 2's uh, summer update, Perius Plunder. And this is a weapon for the Demolitionist and the support, and it's a pretty unique weapon because this weapon has two different fire modes. The primary fire is a very, you know, generic grenade launcher shot. It shoots a projectiles that, you know, you, you lob in an arc and then it explodes on impact. And then you have an outfire, which is a shotgun blast of shrapnels, which will bounce up to two times, which is pretty good if you have you know, sets uh, right up close you want to just get rid of without having to take damage from an explosion. And also something that's very interesting with the primary fire is that if you hold down your fire button, mouse one or right trigger, you can de delay the explosion until you release the button again, which is pretty nice. I'm out of ammo. So let's go over this weapon in the trader menu, shall we? Well, trader menu, there we go. So this is a t uh, tier 4 weapon that costs 1500 dosh. You can tell that by sell price. I haven't bought this weapon, so I cannot show it in the trader menu, sadly. But yeah, but because of the sell price, you can actually tell it costs 1500 dosh. It weighs 7 kilograms, which is pretty light for a high tier weapon for the Demolitionist. And as well, just like all other Demolitionist weapons, your ammo is pretty expensive. So keep that in mind whenever you are buying this weapon. You know, make sure you have some spear dash for some ammo for the upcoming round. Yeah, so I went over this weapon in beta 1, and in beta 1 this weapon was very good, especially if you went full left with the Demolitionist. And even with Shock Trooper it was still pretty good. However, in beta 2 they made some changes. They made some good changes, which was, you know, uh, reducing the spread of the Alphire, which was pretty nice. They added so the uh, Shrapnel. The shotgun blast shot made it so the shrapnels actually bounce one additional time, which is also pretty nice. And then they made some quality of life changes, you know, surrounding the primary fire, just polishing the weapon a little bit. However, they also increased this weapon's damage with its alt fire. Yeah, they increased, you know, each shrapnel dealing 45 damage to 50 damage, and this is pretty huge. But Enough talking, let's show some big set takedowns because that's what you kind of want from a higher tier weapon for the, uh, for the uh, Demolitionist. Yeah, so it's great if you're running full left or you are at least running Bombardier with armor piercing around level 25. It's great takedown looks something like this. Yeah, it requires two shots at tier 4 to decap a Skrake. So... Great takedowns are extremely fast with this weapon. It's it's basically a faster dobo uh, shock and takedown for the support. That is way easier to do. And even if you fuck it up, you know, you still have an extra shot to potentially recover with. But again, you are putting yourself in a somewhat risk because you know you are hugging the big cell. Yeah, but if you know if you get you know your aim down and everything, and you can consistently do this takedown, this weapon is extremely good against Greg's when you're up close because of the alt fire so that's extremely good and what about flash bombs well same thing with flash bombs if you're up close okay oh come on let's show one and then you won so i missed the first shot because i'm very bad because i haven't really played this game too much Yeah, that's the correct way to do a flesh bomb takedown with a tier 4 one with left skills at tier 4. So, tier 4, and even if you're using Shock Trooper, you can 3 shot flesh bombs to decap them, which is pretty nice when you're first up close. At a distance, you can use a primary fire, but well, I can actually show it too. Yeah, but your primary fire. You require quite a lot of shots to actually kill a flesh bomb. And that's mainly because the explosive damage on your primary fire is pretty low. It's slightly more than an M79 grenade launcher. So yeah, the explosive damage isn't too good and from on the primary fire, most of the damage from the primary fire is from the impact damage of the cannonball. So yeah. So against flesh bombs, primary fire is not too good, but if you share a lane with a berserker, it can be okay to use, I guess, because then the Berserker is just going to wall for you, so yeah. Or, you know, a firebug with a microwave gun as well. So that was a tier 4 with full left. However, if you upgrade this thing to tier 5 and use full left or, you know, bombardier and armor piercing rounds, this weapon changed drastically. Well, against Greg's, you know, 
it still requires only two shots to kill, but still, it's a pretty fast takedown. However, against a flesh pound up close, you can now two shot it. Which is pretty, pretty ridiculous. So, yeah, a tier 5 full left this weapon is extremely good now. Like, extremely good compared to beta 1 version, of course. Uh, which is kind of disappointing because this weapon is basically the, one of the new meta weapons for Demolitionist, and you can basically become a different support with the Demolitionist style if you use the Blunderboss with the Kaboom Stick. And, you know. And when you think about it, you know, one of your weapons that are pretty much a meta weapon now is locked behind a paywall. It, it's not really do too great, but hey, at least you get good value uh, if you buy this weapon. Because it's a really good weapon. It's actually now a meta weapon for the uh, demolitionist, which is quite nice. Yeah, and when it comes to set time skills, this weapon really has good synergy with both Destroyer of Worlds and Mad Bomber. But I would say Mad Bomber is better. Maybe because you can just shoot faster, which means you can use the, the alt fire, or you can fire off more alt fires during set time, which could come in handy if you're already very close to a big set. But if you're not, well, it doesn't really change too much. Yeah, because the explosive damage isn't too much, but the uh, destroy of world skill will help you too much. So unless you're running C4, don't bother with destroy of world most of the time, unless you. You know, just want to nuke everything, which everyone <laughs> wants to do when you're playing Demolitionist. But yeah. And with with this weapon with Shock Trooper, well, nothing, not too much changes. It's just that at tier 4, you are always going to 3-shot a a uh, Scrake and Flesh Bun at tier 4. Uh, but if you upgrade to tier 5, you can now 2-shot uh, decap Scrakes and, you know, still 3-shot decap Flesh Buns. So this weapon, no matter if you're using Bombardier or, Sh or Shock Trooper at tier 5, it's still really good. However, if you're using Bombardier with this weapon, it's extremely good. So, yeah. The Blunderbuss overall, compared to the Beta 1 version, this version is way better. The Alfire have smaller amount of spread. It deals more damage, so tier 5 you can now 2-shot two, two decap a Flesh Bomb. Which is really, really good. Yeah. And against quarter pounds, you are going to kill them in th two to three shots with your primary fire, which is pretty nice because that's usually want yeah uh, that is usually where the fire mode you want to use at a distance. And yeah, so this thing overall, it shreds everything in the game basically. So yeah, so yeah, new meta we meta weapon for the demolitionist. But yeah, that was the blunderbuss release version. So yeah, and just to show the uh, takedown, so. Uh, with the Blunderbuss, but if you're using it on support against big sets, uh, it doesn't matter if you have a tier 4 or tier 5 uh, version of the Blunderbuss, it's always going to require 3 shots to decap the big sets. And the Blunderbuss is basically a slightly easier to use Dolbar Shotgun, but it does not have a safe Scrake takedown compared to a tier 4 Dolbar Shotgun, so keep that in mind if you want to use this on support. Go crazy. Ah. Gotcha. 